Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. So, we're all done with Junon, we're just gonna go up here and we're gonna perform for Rufus. Now, there's a couple of interesting things that ha can happen in this next area. There's actually two items that you can get from this, um, that you would want anyway. The one is the Force Stealer, which is a sword for Cloud, and one's a piece of materia that says, um, oh lord, what is the piece of materia? Sorry, the HP plus material. I had to look it up. Now, the interesting thing is, both the Force Stealer and the HP plus material are good prizes. I mean, they're both genuinely good at this stage of the game. However, we can get both of them shortly after this little rendezvous. And the HP plus material is actually more expensive to buy than the Force Stealer. So, we're going to try and get that um, HP plus material. So, we're not going to try and get the maximum score. We need between 60 and 90 points. Now, hopefully I can do this right. If I can't, I will have to reset because I, I want this material. Like, I don't want to buy both of them. That would really fucking annoy me. Um, so I'm going to try. Oh boy. All right. Uh. Okay. Wow. All right. All menus so far. Oh. Uh. Okay. Uh huh. Oh oh. Did that one a little late. Okay. Oh, I did the wrong one. Heidi guard laughing at me in the back there. All right. So we got it to 80, or 70 rather. I don't think it'll go down, so I could just sort of stand here and not do anything for the rest of it. <laughs> it's really weird, um, because I want to get between uh, 60 and 90 points. I'm not going to do it. No, I'm not. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Very entertaining, even though one of us just stopped. <laughs> so if you like, if you really, really like it and you get it over a hundred points, um, Rufus himself will come over and say, you know, yeah, you did really well. Anyways, we want the HP plus materia over the Force Stealer. I used to get the Force Stealer all the time when I played this game before, but it's not the best option, and that's really weird. Uh, I'll explain what it is once we pick one up. We will be buying one, because it is just a better sword for Cloud, uh, better than the Hard Edge. So, even though he's in our party, like, all the time, it's just something interesting. Oh, right, you can still, like, do weird moves with Cloud. What was close? Oh, really edgy, huh? Okay. Hojo disappeared. Oh. Oh, that's interesting news. All right. Well, it seems we've uh been left alone with the boat. I mean, we'll just slip right on. So, if I can show you what this is, it just raises your max HP. Uh, honestly, probably would be a better idea other than long range. Just get Cloud some extra HP. Long range takes a stupidly long time to level too, so it's not that big of a deal if we put it on now. And off from Junon we go. Across the sea. It's probably the first time a lot of the characters have been so far away from home. Well, actually, now that I'm thinking about that, I'm saying that, that's absolutely not true. Every single one of the characters has been pretty far from home. I guess Aerith is the only one who's been this far, or hasn't been this far. All right. Over here, we get ourselves an ether. Over there's an all material, which we desperately want, but we'll get to it in a second. Yuffie. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I've got a tranquilizer. Oh, I don't have any? 
Oh. Yeah, you don't actually need to give you a few tranquilizer. She's just gonna keep throwing up. Oh, Aerith. I did see the airship. Yeah, sure, I'll take you on an airship. Now well, she's excited. We've promised her an airship ride. Uh, okay. What's through here? Get to work. Oh, okay. Promoted, huh? Well, I like the sound of that. If I were being paid by you. Uh, so let's go up here real quick. Who's up here? Everything quiet. Oh, it's Tifa. She hates war, huh? Yeah. She's having too much fun with this. Oh, get on the ladder, please. There we go. I wonder how Barrett got on. He definitely couldn't squeeze into one of these. Something's missing. Yeah, there's a little item shop here. I don't know why it exists. I guess he might be like the quartermaster or something. And they'll bust you if they see you slacking. Oh my dear lord, what is that person doing? Costa del Sol. Ooh, get a tan. I'd love that. What? Oh. Oh. I'm... Not conspicuous at all. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Let's continue on. I just... Uh. By the way, I didn't buy... I didn't end up buying the Grand Glove for... Uh, wait. Oh, we can't go past there yet? I didn't end up buying the Grand Glove for um, Tifa. Because we're I just remember we're going to get something better anyway later. Hmm. Barret. Yeah, I haven't seen him. I wonder where he is. Hmm. Where, oh, where could he be? Well, I know where. He's right over here. Oh, Barrett, what are you doing? You are in a captain's outfit, too. Yeah, I can't do anything to him. Uh, cool it, man. I can't blow the cover now. Stowaway? Uh-oh. They found the others? That's not good. Let's go see what's happening. Oh no, that music doesn't bode well. Everyone's here? Wait, so... Where's the stowaway? Oh no. Sephiroth's here. Well, too bad, Yuffie, you're coming. Why? Because you're really high level, actually, compared to everyone else. I would take red, too, but uh, we really want Aerith to be leveling up. All right, let's go. Well, we got to find out where he is. Sephiroth's on board? That's a bad thing. Oh, no. Dead people already. Suspicious character in the engine room? That can't bode well. And we get the all materia. All right, I need to make sure all of our materia is on point. Who has the other... Where's Shiva? Who, wait, who does have Shiva? Oh, you've got Shiva. Uh, okay, I gotta make a little bit of sense of what's going on. Elemental lightning, heal, poison... Restore all, definitely. Lightning, elemental, sure. Heal. Oh, it would be nice to get revive in there. We just... This is the problem at this point. You start running into having to choose between different uh, items. Well, I guess we'll give you a revive. Because I'd love to have a revive on there. Earth can stay in. 
Chocobo lore, HP plus. Well, Shiva's there, but I would much rather Shiva be on Aerith. And I'll be honest, I almost never use heal. I mean, Asuna's is really good, but. <sighs> I'd rather Shiva get upgraded a little. All right, I think we're all ready to go. The engine room. Uh-oh. It's always a good sign when you hear heartbeats. Oh, this may actually change something. Yeah, that guy's dead. Wind slash. Okay, that doesn't... Uh, it does change something, actually. So... The all materia... There we go. Also, uh, interestingly enough, Wind Slash has double growth. It's the same thing as the um, pendant that we got for Red. And that means that they get double AP at the end of the fight. Those materia equipped in those slots. Oh, there's a bunch of these guys in here. All right. Well, you guys get to see uh, Aerith's new limit break, which is not great. But it does remove status effects, so, you know... Cloud is all fine now, I guess. He's not asleep anymore. Yeah. Not that they're any good anyway. Like, status effects are, for whatever reason, just not that powerful in this game, I feel like. I may be wrong on that point. Maybe, maybe they are effective, but I've never thought they were. So yeah, there's the Wind Slash, and there's Yuffie in a fight. Now hopefully we get to use Yuffie's, uh... Oh, Yuffie's not blinded anymore. Oh, that's right, blind doesn't actually... carry on. Okay, well, it's fine with me. Oh, another... different enemy, okay. Oh, these guys are annoying. Just ice to them all. Yeah, everything's using uh, multiple things now. I can't even talk. I'm I, like, my brain has stopped. Everybody's using level two spells now at this point. So it's very important that you have ice two, fire two, all that stuff. And as you can see, they're all very powerful too. And we're going to see two brand new limit breaks once we start the next fight. So that's pretty cool. We're, I feel like we're about on par with where the game expects us to be level wise. Level 20. I may be wrong, but... Sephiroth? Oh, well, doesn't look like Sephiroth. But he definitely died. What? What time? Oh, it is Sephiroth. Phasing through the floor. Wait, you don't remember us? Yeah, what are you doing? You're killing everyone. What? Uh-oh. And into a boss fight we go. With that. So this is a Genova. Ugh. Annoyingly, it starts with stop all the time. Good, you stopped Yuffie. That's fantastic. And we're gonna start using summons. Yeah! 735 damage, Cloud. Do 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 do. I love this music. I love the Genova fight music in general. It's so fun. Um, we should be pretty good to kill this thing. If we go out all out, it'll die very quickly. Also, this is one of the few times where I would suggest using flamethrower. It does quite a bit of damage to uh. Oh, and we got an achievement. That's right. How much damage does Cloud do with his sword? I don't know. Yeah, that laser attack is annoying. And summons, thankfully, do a whole lot of damage to it. The interesting thing about Chocomog is it has a chance of stunning this boss for whatever reason. It doesn't always work. I didn't do it there. 
Oh, almost the same damage. Oh, ch one more Chocomog. We're gonna fire to it. Ooh, that's gonna do a lot. No limit breaks raised? That's fine. Yeah, it kind of counters magic with uh, the tail laser. But that's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Fat Chocobo? No, no Fat Chocobo. Fat Chocobo does some great, greater deal more damage. Greater deal? I can't even talk. Wow, what's wrong with me? Alright, let's get a cure off. Oh, you know what? Cure too. Oh, the W laser hurts if it hits. Do you have anything to steal? I don't remember checking. Thankfully, Aerith can heal us really quickly back to full health. Do you have anything? Nothing to steal. Okay, that's what I thought. And there we go. It's dead. Very easy fight at this point. We just do so much damage. The damage output from our characters is high. Yeah, some good level ups and we get a white cape. You've seen this before. Oh. Uh. Oh, poor Yuffie. Hmm. Time is now. All right. Um. Searching for the promised land. Yep. He went crazy. Came back and killed President Shinra. Yep. All of us saw it, right? He's carrying Genova. He wants... He's taking Genova to the Promised Land. Does he know where it is? Docking at Costa del Sol. Alright. Don't forget to pick up the Materia. I have actually missed it before. Um, what do I want having this? Um... Uh, we're not going to need to steal anything for a while, so I guess we'll just give it to Yuffie. Yeah, Sephiroth is alive. I guess he certainly believes it exists. This does not bode well. Not at all. Well, at least we'll get to Costa del Sol. That's a good thing, right? Right? <laughs> And in we park. This is amazing. I don't know why they decided to make it like back in. Uh, whose idea was that? I don't I don't understand that. Do 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 Sure is hot here. Mingle like regular folks, huh? No, yeah, the sailor suit was kind of cool. <laughs> sailor suit for pajamas. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you look like a bear wearing a marshmallow. Oh, man. That's such a good line. All right, all right. We gotta move on. Ah, <sighs> okay. So everybody goes to rest. Tifa goes swimming. And weirdly, like... I don't know if it's still in this version, but I'm so curious. If you stand in front of Red... Oh, he actually paths around you. Does he freak out in this version? He doesn't. There we go. That's what I remember. Yeah, you can stand in front of Red and he just sort of 
freaks out because his pathing tries to make you go around him. <laughs> oh. Who's on the helicopter? That music doesn't bode well. That lands. Yeah, a long boat ride, huh? Yep, Cloud was on board. They knew. Oh, well, he did mess up big time. Yeah, Heidegger, you're real terrible at this, aren't you? He's going to start yelling at people, probably. Take out his uh, failure on others. <laughs> yep, throw him in the water. Rufus takes off to go God knows where. Presumably after Severoth somewhere, but I don't really say. Also, I totally forgot to talk to some of the people here. Spread out, all of you. Yeah. Guy's a dick. Uh -huh. President Rufus. Yeah, she's got the hots for him. There's nothing else here. You can talk to the people there, but everybody's gone. Uh, I'm not going to talk to the person in here because I'm pretty sure I can't afford it yet, but we'll be back here. Uh, what I do want to do is go down into the basement because there's a couple of items we should get. There's a fire ring. <laughs> Those items are free. Please help yourself. I mean, I was going to. And the motor drive. The motor drive is the most important one. That is a much better weapon for uh, Tifa than what we could get currently. Actually, I think the Grand Glove is technically better than it, but... Eh. So, because we have Yuffie and Aerith in our party, they don't appear out and about, but the others are here. Big Dog likes humans? Yeah, he's playing with the dogs. Or the with the humans, rather. That's nice. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure, it does. <laughs> You're gonna kick the ball at a... Red, and he is diver deservedly so. Very angry at you. Oh. It's Johnny again! I'm an auto murderer. Yeah, I mean... Start a new life, huh? Yeah, he's got a new house and everything. think you're happy like this. Yep. He needs to go to the bathroom, but somebody's in his, uh... In his shower. I am curious. What does he say? Oh, yep. Yeah. I don't think you're very happy here, Johnny. At least you don't seem like it. Hmm. Alright, what's in the bar? Uh... I thought Tifa was supposed to be in the bar. Oh, I guess she's out on the beach. Alright, there's a merchant here. You can buy platinum bangles. Um, they're not as good. You can also get four slots, materials, carbon bangles, molotovs if you want. Um, platinum bangles are... How do I say? It? They're interesting. Personally, I don't like to get them because I like the defense boost. Um, particularly from some of the things that are coming up. I think Aerith hangs out here in the bar. I can't remember. Um, basically they're also double growth things. Yuffie is usually over here, uh, taking care of 
the materia shop. Yeah, I'd like to have a gorgeous check here so that I can have some free time. <laughs> uh, but we already have all the materia that we want. And then I believe soft. Oh, right. Soft. You know, I've never been hit by it before, but I'll buy two. Just in case. And through here, I believe is Barrett. Somewhere. Aha! Oh, wait, what? Is he checking himself out in the mirror? In the captain's outfit? Oh, man. I think he likes it. That sailor wasn't me. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be paying his bill. I'm not going to pay you. He goes back to enjoying himself. I honestly think it just creates a new Barret to come out and see you. Alright. Down on the beach, there's something rather interesting. Hojo. <laughs> well, who? Hojo or that girl in the bikini? Come on, Cloud. Talk to him. Why would we want to talk to him? He's kind of a dick. The professor. Yeah, too bad, Hojo. How can you just be relaxing here? I don't believe you. Same goal. You're going after Sephiroth? Yeah, I mean, we did. I don't know if we should be telling him that. A hypothesis. No, I've, I've never had that. soldier. No, I don't want to be your guinea pig. What a cunt. Yes, I am. I'm gonna cut you up. <sighs> Wish we could kill him. Yeah. You kind of tried to mate her with a dog. In Falna. In Falna? Well... Yeah, she died. Yeah, that's a decent question. Head west. Well, it gave us a clue of where we're going. So I guess we can go that way. Yep. So all the girls are over head west past Mount Coral and keep going. Well, yeah, that's an interesting thing. Weirdly enough. Oh, you can't do it, huh? I thought you got a swim animation when you were in the water, but I guess not. Oh, well. Okay, so we're basically all done here in Costa del Sol. It's just a little rest stop. You can talk to her. You're bored. Costa del Tor information. Show me round town. <laughs> oh yeah, totally rich. Oh, alright. Gold saucer. Okay. South to the gold saucer and you'll find casinos. Cross mountains and valleys. Alright. Well, we're not technically on a vacation, but we will have to go there. And we leave Costa del Sol. I am curious on something real quick. If you leave and come back, 
Okay, they do. Okay, so I can actually show you the locations of the other two party members. Uh, Hojo is gone. Nope. No, he's not. Never mind. She'd be a ha happy guinea pig if it was for Hojo. That's not... Okay. Uh, let's see. What's in the bar? Does Tifa go into the bar? No? Hmm. Well, alright. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much. We'll just move on. Okay. So we're done with Costa del Sol and we can move on. Let's see. Let me give a quick save. I guess I could have technically used the, uh... I could have used the in there to heal up, but... <laughs> Meh. <laughs> and there it is. You can see the gold saucer. However, we have no way to cross rivers, so we gotta go the long way that that woman told us about. Through the mountains. Up here. Oh, what is this? Oh, is that the... Yeah, the fucking weird Matryoshka dolls. And here we start to come into... Uh, not necessarily dangerous enemies, but more dangerous than before. Oh god, this thing's gonna start making copies. Yeah. If you kill the head of it, though, they all die. Weirdly. Okay, moving on up. Here we go. We're going to cross this bridge. Should be able to get all the way to Coral, I think. And down here. Oh. Alright, Mount Coral. Long and winding path up the mountains. Oh, already? Wow, okay. Usually we get a little break before we start hitting all the enemies. That's fine. Birds. Lots and lots of birds. These things aren't that dangerous. Actually, I'm pretty sure the fire too is going to kill them. Yep. <laughs> I don't even know why I did that. Hey, old man. Yeah, I'm talking to you. What's up? Past the guy in a black cave. Oh. Sephiroth went through here. Well, that means we're on the right path. Alright. Let's jump up. I love the sun rays here. And the little flicker that they have. Oh. It's a Mako reactor. Alright. Oh yeah. These weird little enemies. They, uh, they're little blowfish. And this, uh, big drake-looking thing that breathes poison. Not much to say about them. They're fairly weak. Oh yeah. Aerith got another kill there. That's what I really want. Just for her to get kills. Oh, that's dead. <laughs> when Cloud crits, things die. Yay, another kill. If I'm really lucky, we'll be able to get Aerith her uh, next limit break soon. It would really, really help to get them. If I can get through her level threes, then we'll be in good shape. And also, I don't particularly like using her as a character, to be perfectly honest. That's fine. Oh yeah, uh, remember this screen for later. It's very interesting. And a save point. Alright, I need to save here because sometimes I mess up. Oh. A big bird. Thankfully, 
we kill big birds. It's not yellow, though. It's not nearly as funny because it's not yellow. That's fine. They say Mount Coral's dangerous, but like, honestly, every time I've gone through, never really been that dangerous. Alright, we go up. We don't want to jump here. You want to fall down. And then you hold down a direction and repeatedly press OK. And you can sort of swim to run direction or the other. Now, as you can tell, there are goodies down here. So we went to the right direction this first time. We want to go to the left direction next time we fall. And we to get a star pendant down here. Actually, I haven't equipped people's uh, accessories in a while. You should have... Sure, a fire ring. And you should have a protect vest. Up here, we get a W machine gun. New weapon for Barrett. Finally, another long range weapon for Barrett. And of course, same thing when you get down here. Fall, but hold down left and just tap OK over and over again. And you'll get this other item. Which I believe is a new item for... Yep. Aerith, the wizard staff. So, the wizard staff, I believe, does... Oops. Less damage. Uh, but it is double growth. However, you do lose a materia slot. You know what? I'm going to stick with the striking staff for now. It's just better overall. Okay. Big load of enemies. You know what we do for this? Chocobog. Stop it, birds. I said stop it. I'm going to all die now. It does cost a lot of MP to use summons. And typically, I just handle normal enemies like this and I'll go to an inn. It's honestly the easiest way to get uh, kills for Aerith. H however, it doesn't really promote her using her summons because you just kill the enemies immediately. So it's sort of a double-edged sword there. I don't know. Ooh, nope, we want to jump off of that. We don't need that. And we get the transform materia, which is not something we're going to use for a while. Um, and it does have some interesting implications. Actually, wait, is it the one that I'm thinking of? No, this is the minion toad one. Okay, we're not going to use transform ever. <laughs> but we do have to level it eventually. Oh, what's this? Can't go until the bridge is let down. Switch in the shack, huh? You're beat. Uh-huh. So you want me to go do it, huh? Okay. And yeah, they give you like a PHS switch point here if you want to change your characters, but I don't. So we just move on. The only reason I went down there, normally I don't, I go up the upper path first, is because there's a little extra scene if you do that. So there we go. Now we can run across and you see all the people there. And Tifa cheers you on. Okay. And <laughs> you turn the switch. And I think in the background it's changing the map. And bam! They can run across now. If you go over here, aha, you can climb up and you can hear those little bird sounds. So if you climb all the way up while listening to the bird sounds, you find this! A lovely, cute little nest. Bunch of birds. And there's treasure by them. Well, we're gonna take the treasure, obviously. <laughs> Yuffie's all about it. Aerith doesn't really know what to say. But of course, if you take the treasure, Mama gets angry, because you're trying to get in next to their chicks. Well, gotta kill Mommy then. Cold and heartless. <laughs> and you get 10 Phoenix down. Yeah, that's all that's up there. Uh, I think that's it, right? 
Nothing else here? Okay. Oh, the mushroom dudes. I can't believe we haven't run into them yet. Wow. Okay. Ooh, that hurts. Well, if you got a limit break back up, so that's good. Yeah, and all these guys have a really powerful laser attack. Let's kill another one real quick. I don't know what Grease Lightning is supposed to be. I honestly don't. Oh, ooh. Let's get a cure or two off if I can. And she's... Ooh, wow. Wow, Yuffie's alive. Somehow. Against all odds. Look at that. We can't cast any Cure 2s in anymore, though. In fact, Aerith has almost no MP left. It's fine. We're almost out of this area. There's only really a two screens left, I think? So... Not that big of a deal. We do have to ration out her magic a little bit. So, all right. We get across the bridge, and now we can take the lower path. Oh, I forget how high the encounter right here is in uh, Mount Coral. It's not a very uh, forgiving place to get low on resources, too, because there's no real place you can heal, and the closest in is either getting to the other side of this area or going all the way back to Costa del Sol. So yeah, basically, if you're at the center here, you're totally screwed on that front. Also, if you go under here, there's a little hidden area where there's a tent and a mine source, power source, and this guy. Yeah, how did we end up here? Can't do anything for me. Do you live here? Coral has gone to pot. It used to be a famous mining town. <laughs> oh, you're super out of work, huh? It's weird that you live in a cave, though. Oops, well, Aerith's getting real low on health there. Thankfully, we've got some potions to take care of that. You know, while we uh, <laughs> realize that our MP is super low, I don't really want to use ethers because they're a real, real limited resource. You cannot buy ethers in this game, by the way. They are a finite resource. All right, and here comes the second to last screen. In fact, the most dangerous screen. Because of those things. I'm not even gonna fight that. The bombs are so dangerous in this game that you will die immediately to them if they, uh... If they actually explode on you. If you can kill them, cool. But you need ice too to do that. And I don't feel like it. <laughs> Anyways, going through there, we get into Coral. Oh, what's happening? Oh, Barret. Wait, why are you just letting him punch you? Wait, I see your face again? Oh. What happened? Oh. Uh. Something happened there, buddy? You, you want to talk about it? What's going on? Your fault. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is uh, pretty bad. I mean, everyone's living in tents. What happened here? Next train's coming soon. Train to where? Coal train engineer. Hmm, he can time the trains out, huh? Oh, well, they're junk town, essentially. Road to the left to the ropeway station. Gold saucer? Oh! Oh. Sorry. What have you got? Alright, this is the general storm. We already picked up a transform. We don't need either of these, although they are very interesting. Softs and hypers and tranquilizers. Not really anything we need. What we do want... Oh, nope. Wrong place again. Tents, potions, Phoenix Downs. This is the guy we want to talk to. 
he has a force dealer for us. So we're going to buy that right here. All right. So the hard edge is definitely better on the slots that it has, which is unfortunate because we're going to lose a slot. But that increase in damage and it being double uh, as far as how much damage it deals, it's just second to none really at this point. All right. We want the all materia and we want cover, I guess. Fire. Yeah, we're sort of running out of space here. I think it knocked out steel? What did it knock out? Sense? Fire, enemy skill. Yeah, it knocked out sense. That's fine. All right, we're good everywhere else. I guess if I start doing some uh, grinding, I might put on uh, Aerith's wizard staff. I might do some grinding here. Oh! You saw Sephiroth. Oh, hi, doggo. Angry doggo. She wants to play. Yeah. Looks pretty bad. Accident. Whew. Okay. Bad times all around. What's going on up here? What's an inn? 50 gil a night. Yes, I would. A lot cheaper than most gills in the game. Or, most inns in the game. And this is why, when I get to this point, I start to do some grinding. Um, not really to level, but for money. Also, I could have sworn there was a Materia vendor here, but I guess I'm wrong. Oh, there's one at Cosmo, that's right. Alright, so you can go out here, you can save, you can do all this stuff. We're going to do some grinding here, and then the next episode, we're going to head up to Gold Saucer. Now, I don't know how much grinding I'm going to do, but it's going to be a fair amount. I wanted to get a fair amount of gold, and maybe if I'm lucky, I'll level up some materia as well, and maybe I'll even get uh, Aerith to her next limit break. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. Uh, so, this can be put on hold for a little while if I don't figure out what I'm doing. If I do figure out what I'm doing, you'll see it next week. I don't know. It may take a while to grind and figure out what I want to do. I also need to prepare for the Gold Saucer, which has a few missable items that I really need to get while we're there for the first time. Now, the annoying thing is, is that after I get them, we're going to be good for like a good long while in terms of like stuff I have to prepare for. So, for now, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time whenever that is. Bye-bye.